Welcome to another Debaco University video. Here we're going to be looking at some of the details behind cannabis sativa. We're going to be explaining some of the morphological characteristics where it might be used, some of its advantages, as well as some of its disadvantages as a strain in general. So looking first at the origin, well, this is an annual herbaceous flowering plant. It's indigenous to Eastern Asia, but is now very widespread throughout the entire globe. Uh, this is probably where it originated from. It's been cultivated throughout recorded history and it's been, has a very diverse history of its use. It's been used for industrial fiber, seed oil, food, recreation, religious and spiritual moods and medicine. There's a whole bunch of different uses that it's been used for. Each part of the plant is harvested differently depending on what the purpose of the use is, and it was first classified by Carl Linnaeus in 1753. And the word sativa means things that are cultivated, so it applies to kind of a lot of other plants, uh, indicas and other flowering plants just in general, but the sativa is thought to be one of the more original uh, ones there. Now, the morphology of these sativa strains, they're typically very tall growing, 14 to 15 feet tall. Their internode spacing is about three to six inches, and their leaves, if you took one off, would be very long and thin compared to some of the other strains. Make sure you have the height to grow in the area if you are planning on growing a sativa uh, strain of cannabis. However, remember that they're also photoperiod dependent, which can limit their height. So careful timing and planting for outdoor locations or manipulation of photoperiod for an indoor location can to some degree limit their overall height that they achieve. Now, popular cultivation locations for sativas are outdoors because of the in areas with long growing season because of the height that they get. This season also prefer to get maximum yield from this type of plant. Others will time it to be later in the season to limit the height due to the change in the natural photo period. If you are growing in a greenhouse or high tunnel or something as a, a ceiling limit, there's also the possibility to be mindful uh, for the potential limitations of how tall that plant could get because it may outgrow your location. Pruning is recommended to help increase the plant efficiency and ultimately the yields. If you're wondering what are some common uh, sativa cultivars, well, there are many. It's an extensive list. A, one is high in THC, but sour diesel, very common or uh, famous on the East Coast of the United States, as well as many, many others. I just provided a quick list of three there for some common sativa cultivars uh, to help you understand ones that fall into this classification.